She sat on my bed. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh well. Don't blame me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's a lovely cat. How is everybody today? Okay. Went out today, went to White Burk, had a walk around uh, b &M. We didn't go to Food Warehouse today. Um, I hope everybody's having a great day so far, with it being a bank holiday. So, what are you lot doing? understand that uh, Pleasureland Southport is uh, fairly busy so I've been hearing and yeah we'll just have to wait and see what happens so that uh, yeah She's curled up and gone to sleep. And uh, we'll take it from there, most probably. A big, massive shout out to all my subscribers. And uh, yeah, I saw a video of. Uh, of you know, parts of Blackburn. I can't remember what the what what the name of the channel was, but um, yeah, it showed uh, Queen Victoria Street and the confectioners. Yeah, but they didn't show much of Mill Hill. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Because Millel's got quite a lot of good shops up there. And they have a place called, well, it used to be called John's Cut Price. Uh, yeah. It does uh, DIY stuff. I think there's another one near me. Khan's cut price as well, so... Yeah. I hope you lot are making the most of your bank holiday. I understand that yesterday and today were all pretty busy one big massive warning to everybody be on your guard on how much stuff is costing because Everything is not as as what it seems. Yeah. So, and plus, we've got elections coming up. If you're, um, a American citizen 
they'll be holding uh well if you're an American and you live live here there'll be uh I think there'll be elections at the uh the the uh, American Embassy. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Today it's been a bit of a bit of a mixed bag weather wise. And tomorrow well, tonight and tomorrow I'll probably um see what I allegedly asked to say because what he's what he's uh, talking about some of the American uh, economy and all that sort of stuff can and will affect us because the banks some of the banks over there are basically running out of money once again and yeah it will affect us because if if you basically go on holiday and i'm going to see what happens with all the european news as well um yeah, the other thing is that the Department of Work and Pensions are looking into um, looking into how long people go on holiday for. Yeah, because. When they when they decide that uh, the amount of time that you go away abroad, well, it's like what I said in my previous videos. If you can go away for four week four weeks, that means you can do a job. Yeah. So. Yeah, if you can do, if you can go on holiday for two, for four weeks, that will be a changer. Because they're also looking into um, if you're on a universal credit, right? They're going to basically get you to come in weekly, in some cases daily, for you to go and look for jobs. Yeah. The regime is going to get even tougher than what it is now. So be ready, folks. Yeah. The job coaches are at this time, right, are going to be lent on. And they're going to be put under pressure to get you the claimant, claimant to come in more often. Yeah. So, be prepared, folks. And, uh, yeah. Get ready for what's coming. Because it's like what I said before Jerry Kaplan's book is coming to uh, flourish flourishing and 
eventually you'll own nothing and be happy about it. Yeah. So I'm going to disappear now. And I'll see you in the next one. If if Dan comes up with uh, something really uh, bad news, I'll probably do another video tomorrow on it. So I'll see you in the next one.